This was definitely not part of the full day of eating plan, but this is what happens when you come to the stats office. Oh, they're calorie free. <laughs> I find with calories, people can get very like it's either perfection or failure. And I just think that's a really unhealthy headspace to get into. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. We've got a full day of eating, your favorite kind of YouTube today. And I am showing you a diet break, full day of eating, and it is 1,700 calories. So a bit on the lower side, but that's just where I'm at the moment for my maintenance, and hopefully I'll be able to build those back up. But today I'm gonna to be showing you, how many meals have I got? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, dessert. So let's get into it. First meal of the day. Uh, well, I start with a coffee. It's not really a meal, but I'm gonna show you my coffee and then I'm gonna show you my breakfast and I'm mixing things up. I'm not fasting anymore. I'm just eating first thing in the morning or like I wake up, do my morning ritual and then I'm eating cause I'm just trying to help my cortisol and my stress in my body. So fasting can cause a bit of stress to the body. Other things I'm doing are trying to get my fats a bit higher cause my fat micro has been a bit low and that can affect your hormones and my skin. And and I'm also trying to mix up the kinds of foods I'm having, which I find much easier when I have more calories to play with. So you'll see some different meals in today's full day of eating. So let's have breakfast. All right, breakfast time. So I am going to be having French toast. I just really like sweet things. So I'm having French toast. This breakfast is actually not super high cal. So this includes two coffees. So 120 mils of oat milk per coffee plus the breakfast. It's only 430 calories. So we've got 70 grams of carbs, 10 and a half grams of fat, and 16 grams of protein. So yeah, I'm just having some bread. I'll show you, this is actually a recipe from the TWS recipe book. Name TBA, I actually don't know what to call it. I wanna call it something like, cause all the meals are so like quick and easy and tasty and macro counted, but like, when I, I'm gonna go off a tangent now before I show you this breakfast, but when I came up with this recipe book, I wanted to show you like easy food that tastes good and isn't like, you know when so many like healthy recipe books are like, go and buy this maca powder vanilla extract bean shoot. <laughs> don't even know. I just put together like three foods then. But you know how you have to go and buy superfoods and you might use like a teaspoon in one recipe and you're like, okay, I'm literally never going to use this again and couldn't taste the difference with or without it. Anyway, I just wanted to make it like strip the recipes back, make it really simple and tasty and more on the lower calorie side, but with heaps of optional add-ins. So if you've got more calories to play with, you can add them to the total recipe. So anyway, I don't know if anyone has any cool names, that would be fun. Like hit me up in the comments, tell me what you think I should call it. So this is a French toast recipe from the insert name here recipe book that is gonna be launching this month. It's really yum. It's like an apple pie kind of vibe and yeah. So let's make that now and then I will show you the rest of my day of food. Yay. Every day brings new life when I'm by your side. When I'm by your side. Lunchtime, I have actually meal prepped my lunch because I'm going to head into the Stacks office today. So I am having some salmon. Everyone often asks like, how do I find, or like how do I track my salmon 
to make it such low cal. So I actually get the wild Alaskan salmon. You can get it from Coles if you're in Australia. And it is lower calorie than farmed salmon. It's just, it's lower fat and it is better for you. So that's the one that I get. I track that as silver coho salmon, wild salmon. So for 120 grams, it's 169 calories. Whoa, let there be light. My lights are so delayed. My lunch meal is 372 calories. It's 40 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 31 grams of protein. And yeah, yum, cool. I also found this Celebrate Health sweet chili sauce, and it is low cal too, so it's six calories for 20 mils. So I just got that from Coles. But to be honest, it didn't really taste like much. So yeah, don't know if I would recommend that one. Doesn't get the SOF stamp, the approval stamp. So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your gray See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better This was definitely not part of the full day of eating plan, but this is what happens when you come to the Stacks office. Oh, they're calorie free. <laughs> calorie free. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wait, let me do a oh break for you. on earth. Oh. Oh my word. I'm oh so God. excited. I can't deal with that. Like That's a marble one. That oozing. Okay, so as you guys saw, unplanned, there were cookies at the Stacks office. So I was not planning on eating the cookies, but I did. And you know, it was so great. They were so tasty. Previous Soph would have, you know, seen all the cookies and been like, oh my God, yes. Like I'm just gonna cut my calories down and allow so many of these cookies. But this time we cut them into fours. We'll till cut them into fours. And instead of having like a quarter of every piece, I was like, I'm gonna cut it again and just have a little bit. So I probably had the equivalent of one cookie. And I did factor that into my calories for the day so I didn't end up having the snack and I changed my dinner to factor in I, I allowed 500 calories for that so because I, I'm filming a full day of eating I didn't want to take that out because that's real like there was cookies there I wanted to eat the cookies I factored them in to my calories I made adjustments I enjoyed it and often people like how do you stop and it is like, it can be really difficult when it's just sitting in front of you. So I really had to practice like being mindful with eating it. I wasn't just like stuffing my mouth. It was like really enjoyable eating these cookies that were so tasty. I was really present with like everyone um, in the office having the cookies. And I was like, you know what? If I kept going, why are we so obsessed with I'm finished when the food's finished? Like it's still satiating and satisfying stopping at half a cookie or one cookie. So I really tried to practice that and you know we put the cookies away and that was that's really cool progress for me so I find with calories people can get very like if I don't hit my calories as I've set them up 100% anything else is failure it's either perfection or failure and I just think that's a really unhealthy headspace to get into so I still think it was a successful day because I managed to hit my calories have really enjoyable food and memories with people and not go overboard with the cookies like that's a huge win for me so because I filmed that I'm going to show you a few extra meals. So I've done the day that factored in the cookie, which is taking out the snack and changing what my dinner was going to be to what I'll show you next. And then I'm going to show you had I not eaten the cookie, the snack, the original dinner I was going to have and the dessert. I took out the snack and the dessert and changed the dinner for the cookie day. So I'm going to show you two variations. So the rest of this little section is going to still be the full day of eating with the cookie. And then I will tell you when I'm flipping back to the other full day of eating. So you get two in one, two in one. <laughs> so the cookie, how I tracked it, I just found a Subway cookie and I did two cookies. So that was 436 calories. I'm anticipating that it was around 500. So I've left remaining calories. So for the whole day, it was 16, 20 calories. And typically I would aim to hit my protein if 
you know, if it was a planned thing that I was going to be having this cookie, I would have had a higher protein other meals in the day, but I didn't end up doing that. So anyway, I'll, I'll tell you dinner and then I'll tell you the total calories. So for dinner, I'm just having some roast vegetables and some chicken breast. So this is a total of 382 calories. It's 36 and a half grams of carbs, seven grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. And it's just like a super easy, simple dinner where I've just found some vegetables that I haven't been eating. Like I really wanted to, like I said at the start, bring some variety into the food that I've been eating. So roasting beetroot, having Brussels sprouts, and uh, oven baking pumpkin. They're just some different things and I'm also trying to eat seasonally. And I don't usually bake my chicken, I usually pan fry it. So mixing it up that way as well as I'm finding helping me stick with the diet. So that's a tip, you know, so many people ask me, how do you stick to your diet? And I usually eat so repetitively, like you guys know, if you look at all my full days of eating, you'll see really similar foods, but I'm really making an effort to make it funner and interesting and basically eat like my app is set up, which is like a different meal every single day of the week. So the seven days you have a different meal plan for every day. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and implement that. Yeah, just bringing in different foods, eating seasonally, changing the way I cook things. That variety just makes sticking to a diet more interesting and fun. You're actually excited to eat your food and come up with food creations to make. <laughs> So my girl to pipe down, need it right now Lately I've been going to the lights out Got my face up and my eyes down Shorty now you know what this is like now Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three cause you know I'm zoning Shorty got a way we been chilling by the ocean Now I got a big drop top and I'm rolling And I told my girl I'ma Till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three Cause you know I'm zoning Shawty got a wave We been chilling by the ocean I told her my way What can I say? Ooh, I got them looking at me sideways I can't take no days off They know I can't Lately I've been in a different mind state And I got them tripping I've been making hits I don't got no time for misses Shawty want to ring And she trying to be a missus I've been so ahead I don't think y'all really so the full, the full day of calories with the cookie in it was 1620, but I allowed, like the goal was 1700. I, it would have been like around that. So there was 90 calories remaining, but the, the cookie would have been more than what I tracked it. Protein was 93. My goal was 130. Carbs were 206. Fat was 48 and fiber was 28. So with fiber, you want to aim for like 10 to 15 grams per thousand calories. And then let's move on to the snack that I was going to have if I didn't have the cookie. I was tossing up between having quick oats with peanut butter, a square of chocolate and some strawberries. And you mix that in because the chocolate melts and it's so good. But I really wanted to try Wheat Bix porridge, which is something that Taylor, who works for me, always has. So I was like super inspired to try that. And these are gluten-free Wheat Bix. So you crumble the Wheat Bix in the bowl and you can either add, I'm pretty sure Taylor adds egg whites to hers and microwaves it, but I added oat milk to mine to make it like soggy and warm. Soggy and warm sounds so disgusting. <laughs> When you're talking about wheat bix, you want them you like you want them to be a bit more like porridge consistency. So I did that and I added some yogurt and peaches and a bit of maple syrup and that was delicious. So that was 223 calories, 37 and a half carbs, uh, three grams of fat and nine and a half grams of protein. And that was seriously potentially better than oats. And I know oats can cause a lot of people like gut discomfort. So yeah, try wheat, try gluten-free wheat bix if you get discomfort and like see how you go without oats in your diet. Potentially my new fave, but wheat bix are higher in cal per gram than oats. So there's that, there's that too. Sleep now, need it right now. dinner that I was going to have if I didn't have a cookie. So this dinner is one of my favorite dinners at the moment. I did last minute pop it into the TWS recipe book titled TBD, but 
I don't know, I don't feel like I'm a obsessed with pasta kind of person. Like if I was going to an Italian restaurant, I would choose pizza over pasta, but I've really been loving pasta. So I had like a chicken vegetable pasta. And the trick is guys, you've got to oven bake the pumpkin. So I usually air fry everything, but I just wanted to like oven bake it, put it in a little bit of like spices and olive oil. And I know just, I feel like the air fryer and the oven just bake things differently. So this is like a delicious vegetable, high carb, yum thing, yum thing, dinner meal. And optional extra is to put on like a tahini sauce. So that will boost your fats with your monounsaturated fats, which is very good. I've been focusing on getting more fats in my diet. So tahini, cause that's made out of sunflower seeds. So you have like a tahini, olive oil and lemon juice sauce that goes on it. If you have the calories to add that in. So I just did um, crushed walnuts to get more the good fats in and some lemon juice and a bit of olive oil on both the pasta and the pumpkin that I baked and oh my god so good so the total is 525 calories it's 66 grams of carbs 11 grams of fat and 42 grams of protein so let's have a look at dinner now And moving on to dessert, you guys know I always do the egg white pancake. It's like so famous egg white pancake, the low-cal go-to snack. But when you're on a diet break and you have more calories to play with, you can mix it up a bit. Though that being said, this is about the same calories as the egg white pancake. So it's definitely something that I can eat when I'm back in the deficit and on my lower calories, but I really enjoyed making this. So it's a protein mug cake. I did salted caramel cacao mug cake. Oh my God. It sounds like I'm saying mud. I'm saying mug with a G at the end. Like it goes in a mug, but I mean, it just went in like a little ramekin bowl. So anyway, this is 168 calories. It was 10 grams of carbs, three grams of fat and 24 and a half grams of protein. So really high in protein and really delicious. Let's have a look at it now. <music> I hope you guys enjoyed the extended version of this full day of eating. It was a bit random, like with, you know, having the cookie in there and being like, it wasn't what I had planned to show you. And I like sticking to my plans. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to show them both because I could so easily edit out the fact that I ate the cookie, but that's not real. And you guys always ask me like, do you go off plan or do you eat over your calories? And like, yeah, I went off plan, but I didn't eat over my calories. And I really wanted to show you guys life happens and people buy cookies and bring them to your office and you want to eat them and you can do all of that and still manage to 
lose weight and be in a deficit i think it's just really important when people mess up is they just go super overboard and don't fill the rest of their day with highly nutritious foods that are whole foods that make you feel good and, and i've been there before too so now with all of the lessons i've learned from the mistakes i've made i know that i can eat these things less regularly because they contain gluten and dairy and it just it makes me inflamed and watery and that just you know jacks the scale up for me so if i have a little bit it's fine and just make sure i'm you know Know, drinking heaps of water and having you know filling my food with the calories that make me feel energized and good so i'm really glad that that happened so i could show you guys actually do you guys want i'm gonna ask you a question but i obviously can't like get your feedback i was gonna say do you want me to go through my stats like where my numbers are at because the diet break has now finished and i've got my laptop here and i can take you through my weight and everything so let's have a look at my numbers so the last time i gave you an update I think I had just started the diet break. So now it's actually the last day of my diet break today and I'm dropping back into my deficit tomorrow and the deficit isn't going to be as aggressive because I'm doing a bit of a reverse diet right now. So I'm not doing a reverse diet in the sense that I'm finishing the diet and I'm bringing my calories back up. I'm just trying to help my metabolism get used to being on higher calories and adjust to the higher calories with a very minor reverse structure. When I started this diet break, I had been on 1300 calories and now the diet break has been 1700 calories and I'm dropping back into the deficit and I will be 1400 calories. So I've increased by a hundred. The cool thing is during this diet break, I didn't really gain weight per se, like the scale did go up, but the scale has been fluctuating like crazy. Like yeah, one day I'll wake up and I'm 64.7 and then the next day I'm 65.4. So that's, you know, 700 grams and then 65.4 and then drop back down to 65.1. So it's just been like, I literally was like something you guys should try is moving your scales around the place. Cause sometimes it can be a bit off, which I did do and there was no change. So I'm like, okay, this is just so weird. Whenever I have a big sleep, I get like more of a drop because you're less watery. Um, but anyway, diet break. So the week before the diet break, I dropped 390 grams and my average weight was 65.24. So I feel like I've been in 65 for like the last like seven weeks. Like, I don't know, my weight just doesn't want to move, but I am noticing physical changes now. So during the diet break, I was 65.1, 65.5, 65.5, 65.7, 65.2, 66, um, 66, 65.7, 66.3. So it's been just like crazy. Another thing to note is, yeah, the day after the cookies, so the day of the cookies, I was 66. The day after, I was 65.7. So I'd had a dinner where I didn't have like heavy carbs. And then the next day, I had the pasta, which I showed you guys at night. So I'm having heavier carbs that retain more water. So when they've got more water, you're going to weigh more on the scale. So then the scale was up 66.3 after that. My memory card got full and I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, so yeah, the carbs. So you'll see, you know, when you have like a later meal or a more carb, like higher carb meal, it retains more water and it can just make the scale appear, you know, heavier. Back into the deficit, 1400 calories tomorrow. Gym's open tomorrow, so I can get back into the gym. How am I feeling? I'm actually feeling good. Like I am noticing changes in my body, though it's slower than I'm used to. I just I just have more weight to lose, so that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm actually feeling okay about it, but I'm excited to keep showing you guys my progress. I hope this is motivating you to stick to whatever your goals are. And I'm looking forward to giving you another update after this diet break. So I will see you back here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and turn post notifications on. Give us a like and comment anything and I'll get back to you. I'll see you next week.